Hi beauties, I am Eva Delicious and welcome to the very first new moon ritual of the Showgirl Temple. The Showgirl Temple is a culmination of many different aspects of my life and a place where we can come together to embody the Divine Feminine through dance. I'm, I know Divine Feminine and Goddess and Witch and terms like that are thrown around a lot lately and sometimes they're lo meant loosely and often they are meant in a very sacred, grounded, beautiful, loving way. Um, I myself have sometimes had a hard time with that area because I feel that uh, it's often spoken about and not fully lived. And so my, my passion, my goal is to bring all of those different energies of Divine Feminine into our bodies so that we can live it and practice it in a very grounded, realistic way. Um, you may substitute whatever you feel connected to for this. The point is to come together among our sisters in a place where we can dance and feel good about what we're bringing into our bodies and into the world. So tonight, we're going to do the very first ritual where I will draw a goddess card. And then over the next few weeks, I will take what that goddess represents and combine it with the energies of the moon that we're experiencing into a dance. And then I will offer that dance to you in this Facebook group over the next few weeks. And at the full moon, we will come together and celebrate and dance. And that will be our ritual for the full moon. So um, I'm going to begin the ritual. Um, those of you who are more practiced and skilled in this, please um, forgive me if I'm missing things. This is um, a newer practice for me and certainly very new to share it this publicly. So um, first I invite you to uh, be calm and centered in your space. We are not going to dance in this moment, so you're welcome to come to a comfortable seated position, but one where you can move just a little bit. I don't know about you, but my day has been very full. So let's begin by taking a few deep breaths together. Go ahead and inhale. <sighs> Exhale again. Be a little bit more exhale this time. And wherever you are, however you're seated or standing, feel the earth under you. Feel yourself connected to it. Feel the points of your body that are touching the earth or your little cushion. Let yourself rest there and be held. The earth has us in so many ways. She has us and she is supporting us. So let her, let her hold you in this space. And feel connected to the center of the earth, however you choose to envision that or feel it. Let that sensation of rootedness literally ground you. Let that connection rise up through you, up through your spine. Feel it through the center of you, up through the top of your head, all the way up to the moon in her dark phase where we can plant the seeds of what we want to manifest through the new month. And all the way up into the stars and the heavens, all that starlight that's coming down, beaming down to us, falling down on us, literally forming us. All right, it's this feeling of connection to the universe and to all around us. I'm going to welcome the spirits and energies of the East the element of air. You can let that flash over you. 
Facebook Landia cleansing you. And now I welcome the spirits and energies of the self, the element of fire. Mm, burning bright and hot with our desires and burning away the energies that we no longer need. And now I welcome the spirits of the West, the element of water. I'm just going to place this sacred vessel of water in here so it stays contained. Washing us, cleansing us, And now I'm going to place these fabulous show girly baubles onto our little space for the energies of the north. The element of earth rooting us, grounding us, continually teaching us. And I invite the energies above, the universe, the stars raining down on us to join us. Deep, deep crystal core of the earth to rise up and join us in this space. And bring us all together into the center. And light this for the new moon and for the goddess. Guiding us, dancing with us, taking us into all the new and dark spaces of our lives, the robust and full spaces, and those places we desire to go. All right, our circle is cast, our ritual has begun. Let this energy swirl around inside of you. Feel it moving around your spine, around your space, enveloping you, and bringing you into connection with all of our sisters all over the world, honoring this new moon, those who have done this in the past, those who are yet to do it in the future. So this new moon is an especially beautiful, encouraging moon in Virgo for manifestation and power. And those of you who have just joining us and following this, this has all happened very quickly. Um, the eclipse season was very powerful for me personally. I know for so many people around the world. and brought a lot of clarity and difference into what I wanted to offer to the world. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm a burlesque performer, that I teach burlesque and have taught that in a capacity for a while and that I've offered this um, as a learning to many people. And to be honest, I've struggled with putting it out there. Um, and the clarity that I received over the last few days before I decided to birth all of this so rapidly was that I wasn't living in my full space, my full power, and the ways that I represent myself in the world. In my personal life, um, this sort of practice happens more regularly. I create many performance pieces based on goddesses and divine femininity. I call myself the High Priestess of Teas. And it is very important to me to bring this energy to the world, to offer this as a sacred practice, not just um, as a piece of performance, although I do feel that is an important way to reach people. Uh, it is really important to me that this beautiful, sacred energy, loving, whole sexuality is brought into the world, honored and respected and taught and shared with as many people as possible. Performance is a way for me to do that but that is the true message of what I'm doing. And so when this was presented to me, this showgirl temple um, idea, I 
thought this is the perfect time to bring it. It's quick, it's fast, uh, it's all kind of happening moment to moment right now. And that is the power of the moon that we are experiencing to make dreams and reality to make things happen powerfully, rapidly. And so I invite you to step into that energy with me to take a moment and to think about what might be manifesting for you. What is what has been cleared out? What have you released to make space for? And what are you inviting in and ready, totally ready to make happen? The thing that pops into your mind right away and says, yes, this is it. This is what you're bringing to the world. So with that, with that energy, I'm going to bring out the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards which I have used in circle with many different women over the years. So, back up a little bit, make a little space on our altar. And I've already um, played with the cards a little bit, and given them my energy, cut them a few times. So, feel like we're ready to go ahead and choose a card. So let's bring your energy to this as well. You're out there in Facebook land, listening, being with this. Go ahead and send your energy. Open up to what the universe, the goddess wants to tell us and invite us to bring into our bodies over the next month. What shall we dance? All right, so we needed a little bit more massaging. Like all of us, right? I believe they are ready. So we'll go ahead and spread them out and mix them up. All right. says yes. Our card is Kali, endings and beginnings. My goodness, I feel this is very personally appropriate. The quote on here says, the old must be released so that the new can enter. So true, so true. All right, we'll put her here. And thank you, Kali for being here. I will read a little bit more to you about Kali. And then in the next month, we'll begin our dance. Message from Kali. I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order, which only appears to be chaotic and ever changing. In actuality, everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. The dance of the universe is a happy one, with energy swirling and twirling in a never-ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of the weavings of the story of your life. Do not fear what happens to be a change or a loss. It's only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it as evidence that you're alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human experience. Various meanings of this card. Your current changes are for the best. Keep your thoughts positive as they're very powerful. What appears to be a loss is really the beginning of a happy new phase. Let the past go. It's time to move on. About Kali. This ultra powerful Hindu goddess is feared by those who don't understand the natural cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Kali is the embodiment of mother nature who cleanses away the old with natural storms and fires to make the ground fertile for new crops and life. Kali is the ultimate get things done goddess. And she's a powerful ally to those who call upon her. Like a wise stage mother, she'll push you beyond your comfort zone to reach the heights of your potential. Wow. All 
right, ladies. Ladies of the temple, showgirls of the temple. We will be dancing with Kali over the next month. I feel like we've been dancing with her already a little bit. The earth has shown us that. It's, it's time to break away from, from past patterns and, and step into the new. So I invite your thoughts and prayers and meditations about this. If you have more wisdom to share with the group around Kali, your own experience or uh, music, dances that you would like to share in the group, please go ahead and post them below this thread and we'll keep them all in one place. And come back next week. I will share the time that it's going to be released. Um, as I said, things are moment to moment, so I'm sorting it all out as I go for, the, right, for right now. But I will give you notice, and then the information and the dance will be available in the Facebook group uh, for you to access when the time is right for you. Um, and it will stay up all month until we do our full moon ritual. So, I'm going to close our circle. Release these cards until the next month. I thank the spirits of the East, of an element of air, for joining us in this space. You are honored and released with love. I thank the spirits of the South elements of fire for joining us in this space. You are honored and released with love. I thank the spirits of West, of the West, the element of water. You are honored and released with love. And I thank the spirits of the North the element of earth, you are honored and released with love. Goddess, as always, we bow to you in gratitude for all that you have to offer and to teach us. The stars above, the earth below, and all that has been brought into the center, we thank you honor you for joining us. You are released with love. Our circle is closed, but not unbroken. May all that has happened here go with you in peace and love and joy. May we dance into the next phases of the moon. Ah, blessed be. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to our conversations and our dance. And now I'm going to crawl to you Facebook land and say, blessed be, be well.